um, or it was last month now, I suppose, and I just never got around to filming the video. Last month, I received my glossy box and um, finally cancelled my subscription. Now, the last time I said I didn't like my glossy box, I got a ridiculous amount of negativity surrounding the video that I made. Um, and it wasn't even like I hated the box, I was continuing the subscription and since then I'd made lots of videos saying how I really liked it. However, um, people don't tend to like any kind of opinion on things that people don't like. So, you know, if you don't want to hear that I don't like it, then you may as well just stop watching now because that's what it's going to be like. And um, I'll tell you what I received, I'll tell you, you know, my reasons for wanting to unsubscribe from the service and then at the end I'll tell you that I'm not entirely unsubscribed from the service, but you know, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so what I received, I haven't really gone through everything, I've left it in the box to uh, do this video, so I haven't actually used things. There's always time, you know, I could use something and it could be revolutionary, that's the whole point of the beauty boxes, you, you use something you wouldn't normally use. So I'm just going to tell you, you know, I haven't used them, this is just from appearances, just from opening the box and being disappointed. Um, so what I received was this Duop Venom Gloss, it says, uh, combining subtle tinted lip gloss with um, Duop Lip Venom to create Venom Gloss. And this is, I suppose, um, to plump your lips. And the shade that I got is Buttercup. Next, Dr. Bronner Magic Liquid Soap. Combination of organic extra virgin coconut olive, jojoba and hemp oils. Um, together with pure essential oils. And this is soap, is it? This is soap, peppermint soap. Oh, it does smell really nice actually. I love the smell of peppermint. Um, Paul Mitchell Round Trip. Um, this liquid curl divine is fast drying but enhanced curls for in an instant. I actually did use this this morning. Um, you won't be able to tell because since my hair was rained on it's got all fluffy and whatever. But my hair is naturally wavy and when I took the quiz in the first place I did say that um, my hair was curly. And I have seen that other people receive different things so I do like that I received something specific to my hair type. They sent me something for curly hair instead of like straight hair or whatever and I have seen other people that have received um, things for sleek hair. So I do appreciate that they do seem to be sending things specific to people's needs now um, but it's all a little bit too late for me now. Uh, but I did kind of like this. I liked that it wasn't sticky and greasy like my Aussie one which is I love my Aussie one um, and I probably will continue to use it but it's not something that I used and went wow this is amazing it's not something that I opened the box and thought that's incredible and I know that loads of people probably love the Paul Mitchell edition um, to this box but I know that it was also in previous boxes so if I'd received it and then received it again I'd have been pretty pissed off. Um, next, BM Beauty Pure Mineral Eyeshadow. Um, Award winning pure mineral eyeshadow, cruelty free and suitable for vegetarians and vegans. I hate mineral eyeshadows. I hate pigments. This is not a colour that I would use. It's like a kind of slate. I don't know, it's kind of a cross between a green blue grey kind of colour, I don't know if you can say, but it's like a really, I don't know, it's not, it's not my colour and it's a pigment and I never ever use loose pigments. I've got a drawer full of loose pigments that literally have never been opened because I love the look of them and I buy them and they're amazing. Then I just go, no, can't use that because it's just too messy. So no, not for me. And last of all is, oh my God, Como Shambhala. Let's say that. Invigorate body lotion. A revitalizing blend of the essential oils that puts you in a perfectly uplifted mood. Uplifted mood. It smells okay. I don't know if it'd uplift me. But um, again, I've kind of got enough body lotions. They send me a body lotion. It feels like they send me a body lotion every single month. And I've kind of had enough of the body lotions, truth be told. I might get them all out and say, you know, these are all the things. I don't think I've ever used them. I, I look at them and go, yep. Yeah. Okay, and that's perhaps the worst thing that I could possibly do. I don't use them and they go, I don't want that. They could be amazing and you're supposed to try the things. That's the whole point of the box. If you're not going to try them, why even subscribe? That's kind of why I unsubscribed. Um, so yeah, that's what I received this month. The one thing that I probably will use is this and I think everything else will just be relegated to a draw. Um, I don't want to be mega, mega negative because I'm sure lots of people have been in the past. Obviously, I pay for my own... Um, glossy box and I just I haven't been particularly impressed with them for a long time so it's not like I received this box and went that's rubbish I'm not having that again it was kind of for several months in a row I've been yeah okay it's been all right it's been all right and then every now and then 
I think, no, I'm going to, I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm definitely going to cancel my subscription. And then they send me something amazing. I think the last thing that I got that I really, really enjoyed was the Deborah Lippman Razzle Dazzle Nail Polish. That was, that was a, a high point for the Lottie Box for me. It was only a tiny one, but it was Christmas and I absolutely loved it. And then again, I received another box that I wasn't that interested in. And I thought, right, the next one, if I don't like the stuff that I get, I'm cancelling. And I did. Um, so I cancelled my subscription because I thought, I'm just not that excited about it anymore. And I think that once they've been out for a while, they stopped trying. And I knew there was a new beauty box on the market called She Said Beauty. So I signed up for that and I cancelled my Glossy Box subscription. Unfortunately, I signed up for the She Said Beauty too late. I, re I received tweets from people saying um, they'd received theirs and I thought, okay, why haven't I received mine? So I tweeted them, said, why haven't I received my box, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I reread my email and it said that I wasn't going to get it till the end of March. So I missed out for the first beauty box and I'll probably get the March one. Um, but where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Um, I completely... <sighs> Mind frazzle. Um, someone tweeted me today and said... Have you signed up or are you still subscribed for the secret mystery Harrods box from Glossy Box? And I thought, for God's sake, every month when I make this video, I say to you guys, the one time I cancel, the next box is going to be amazing. It's going to be the most epic box of all time. So what did I do? I resubscribed today. Now the Harrods box is supposed to be sent out in two days time and mine will be late because I wasn't already subscribed, which is frustrating because I was already subscribed. But anyway, um... I intend to cancel, no matter how good this box is, the next box, I intend to cancel my subscription again once I've received it because I want the next box because it's hyped and it's secret and mysterious and all that rubbish. Um, but I know that I want to cancel my Lossy Box subscription and try something new because I think, I don't know, I just want to try something new. I think the She Said Beauty Box might work. I'm contemplating sticking with Carmine. They sent me a couple of boxes to review and I'm really impressed with them. Um, but I know I'm not sticking with Glossy Box. I'm not going to make a big song and dance about the products that I received and tell you all about them because we're in March now, you've probably heard all about them already, you can read reviews on blogs, I haven't actually tried many of them at all. Um, but I just wanted to tell you that I did unsubscribe, then I subscribed again because they hooked me in with the Harrods Box and, um, and then I'm going to get rid of it. I am. I am. I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to start something new because there's enough Glossy Box subscription videos, right? I want to try something different and I want to be one of the only people that are talking to you about the She Said Beauty or the whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know, I know people don't like negativity, but an opinion is an opinion. You know, some people don't like me, that's their opinion. I didn't like this box. That's my opinion. Um, so if you still subscribe to them, tell me, you know, what's, what's keeping you interested? What, what is it about Lossy Box? Why are you subscribing to them? Is it because, the same as me, you think as soon as you unsubscribe, they'll get something amazing? Because I discovered that if you see a Glossy Box that you really like and you subscribe straight away, you'll get that Glossy Box. So, you know, if there's ever something really, really amazing and I really, really want it, then I'll just subscribe then and I'll still get that box. Because you see all of the boxes come out and everyone reviews them and you're still in time to subscribe. So I'm not subscribing to the service anymore because effectively I just wait and see what everybody else gets. So yeah, um, that's my, that is my um, intention. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favourite glossy box, my favourite glossy box, your favourite beauty box has been. Is it still a glossy box? Do you like Carmine? Do you like Jolie Box or whatever they're called, Boudoir Privé? Um, one of those, let me know. And I will see you in my next video.